So once again, as in the last lesson, we have a coordinate plane with a, using a map of the city. The units are in kilometers. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance from the school S to the library L. So here is the school, here is the library, here is City Hall in the center of town. And you can see I have this grid system set up. These are kilometer, one kilometer increments. And so we're trying to figure out the straight line distance as the bird flies from uh, the school to the library. So how do we proceed? Well, we can see that we have a right triangle. Of course, we're trying to find this length, but we have a right triangle here. And so here is a 90 degree angle. So the uh, uh, the um, hypotenuse C is listed right here. So the distances of the other side sides are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And the other side is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the distances are 8 and 6 kilometers. So what we have is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And we're trying to find this distance here. We know that one side is 8 and the other side is 6. So we have to square them. And so 8 times 8 is 64, and 6 times 6 is 36. When we add these numbers together, we get a nice even number of 100. So c squared is 100. So how do we get rid of this square term right here? We take the square root of both sides, and since we're applying our own square root, we put a plus or minus, cancel the root with the uh, square, and then what we have is the square root of 100, which is 10. We're going to throw away the negative because we don't have negative distances. So 10 what? 10 kilometers. So if we were to construct a grid system on a map where City Hall was in the center and everything was measured relative to it, right? And you would go, you know, this many distance units to the left and this many distance units up to get to the school and similar thing down to the library, then the straight line distance between them would actually be 10 kilometers as we've shown mathematically here. Let's take this one down and solve our next problem. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. We're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance from the ice cream parlor I to the movie theater M. So the ice cream parlor is here and the movie theater is here. So we're trying to find this straight line distance. So let's draw that distance and find a triangle that fits. Here's the straight line distance. Now we could draw a triangle down here, uh, but it's fine to draw a triangle like this. Either way it's gonna work because the distance here is the same as the distance here and the distance here is the same as the distance here. So you're gonna get the same answer. The hypotenuse C is what we're trying to find here. So C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared. Now, c squared is then equal to, one side here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 squared. And then the other side is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 squared. So we have uh, 10 squared is 100, and then 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. So we have c squared is equal to the, whoops, let me do, get too far ahead of myself, is uh, 100 plus 16, 116. And in order to solve for that, we're going to do the opposite of the square. We're going to apply the square root and add our plus or minus here. And so we have the distance C is equal to this. So we have to figure out what the square root of 116 is. So we go over here and say, what is the square root of 116? Now, you know it's an even number, so it's divisible by 2. Uh, but it turns out that it's also divisible by 4. It turns out that 29 times 4 is exactly equal to 116. Now this is uh, 2 times 2, and this is not really able to be broken up into anything that's going to have pairs, so you just leave that there. So what you end up with is a pair of 2's, which comes out as 2 times the square root of 29. So the 2 comes out, the, this stays under the radical. So it's 2 times the square root of 29, which is approximately equal to 10.77. And it's rounded, of course. So 29 square root of 29 times 2 is this, and also square root of 16 is this. These are the same thing. So this is the final answer. And the unit here is in kilometers. All right, so just a little bit over 10 kilometers, close to 11 kilometers is that distance. All right, we'll take this one down and do our last problem. And here is our last problem. We're trying to find the distance between the deli D and the grocery store G. Delhi to the, where is it, grocery store. So this straight line distance, let's draw that distance here. It's from the deli to the grocery store. We can form a right triangle, of course, right here. And so the red line is the hypotenuse C. All right, so C squared is A squared plus B squared. So we're trying to find C. I have two distance units here, so two squared. 
And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the other direction. So we have eight squared up here. And so two times two is four and eight times eight is 64. So C squared is, this becomes 68. So C squared is 68. Now we want to solve for C, the distance uh, C here. So we're going to take the square root of both sides, cancel these guys. We have to add our plus or minus and the distance C is going to be the square root of 68. I don't know what that is. So what times what is 68? Well, it appears that it's divisible by two, but it turns out this is divisible by four as well. 17 times four works out to be 68. And then the four is two times two. I'm looking for pairs. So the two comes out, the 17 stays under the radical. So two times the square root of 17, I discard the negative length because I can't have negative lengths of a triangle. And this is the final answer. Now this also works out to be approximately equal to 8.25 uh, kilometers. So the square root of 68 or two times the square root of 17 work out to 8.25 and the units here are kilometers. So as I said, we could do more problems here, but it, it kind of like gets very repetitive after a while. There's not much more we can squeeze out of this. Just know that when you have grid systems of any type, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. The entire Earth is covered in a grid system called latitude and longitude. And so even though the Earth is curved, as long as we're not talking about distances all the way around the planet, if we're talking about distances maybe within a city where it's not so far that the curvature of the Earth comes into play, then we can still use the Pythagorean theorem. But as I mentioned early on, if the surface is curved over which you're doing this stuff, then the Pythagorean theorem doesn't hold anyway. So if you try to find the distance using the Pythagorean theorem from Paris to, you know, Antarctica or something, then the distance is so far that this, the curvature of the Earth really makes the Pythagorean theorem not work really anymore because that curvature changes the equality and makes it not equal anymore. But on a local situation in a city or a town or even maybe even a broad section that's not too big, it, it works just fine. All right, there are other applications as well we'll get to later, but for now, once you understand this, we're going to shift gears and start talking about volume and surface area of geometric objects. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.